Hello, welcome to the Friday, July 26, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, we got sort of a nice theme going this uh, weekend with our diary set in at Storm Center and it's all about people and what could possibly go wrong with various user accounts. So today we have Rob talk about how to restrict access for in particular administrators and also limit administrator access to people that actually need it. Rob, of course, a big fan of the critical controls is uh, using those critical controls to outline some of the steps that you can take in order to make your network more secure. For example, by using group policy objects and restricting where administrators can actually log into. One of the important things that Raw points out is that these controls have to also take into account that administrators should never use software like email clients or web browsers as administrator. They should always use their own lower privilege accounts for these high risk activities. So some interesting ideas here from Rob and certainly will make a great weekend read if you haven't read it yet. And yet more news about the Blue Keep vulnerability. That's the famous RDP vulnerability where everybody's sort of waiting for the big exploit to come out. Well, uh, there is now an exploit available as part of Immunity's Canvas penetration testing tool. Now, Canvas is a pretty expensive uh, commercial package. I think licenses run around sort of $30,000 a year. So nothing your average criminal would necessarily purchase. But uh, in the past, it has happened that Canvas exploits have leaked uh, soon after they were included in the product, just because, for example, a customer of Canvas uh, was uh, compromised. But what this means is that uh, certainly for some of the more sophisticated attackers, $30,000 uh, may not be that much and they may already have a copy of Canvas anyway for other purposes. So would certainly make sure yet again that you are patched for Blue Keep and this will put a working exploit in reach of more attackers. Now in the demo video they published, they show an attack against uh, Windows 7. So that's the other uh, kind of thing here. A lot of the proof of concept exploit and such that people have been talking about were against uh, Windows XP. Uh, this one is apparently working against the 32-bit version of Windows 7. And recently a number of cities in the United States have made headlines for getting affected by ransomware and also some city services being shut down in some cases for an extended amount of time. Well, uh, cities in the US aren't the only ones getting themselves in trouble with ransomware. Johannesburg in South Africa also apparently got infected with ransomware and one particular system that was impacted by this ransomware infected infection was the power grid. Now the power grid itself actually wasn't infected. What happened instead was that systems used to pay for power got infected and were no longer functioning. And apparently in Johannesburg a lot of customers have prepaid account. Once their balance falls to zero, their power is automatically cut off and this affected several customers in Johannesburg that were unable to refill their accounts and had their power cut off as a result. Now, most of communication here between the power company and the city and the public did happen via Twitter. So I'll link to the Twitter account of the city in addition to a news report, but looks like by now most of the effect of the ransomware infection has been mitigated. And while most of us here in the Northern Hemisphere are currently experiencing heat waves, uh, South Africa actually uh, currently of course experiences winter. So heat and such is certainly a big issue there. And then we got more fallout from security company Dark Matter attempting to obtain certificate authorities that are trusted in most browsers. 
Dark Matter is the company that got itself to trouble for assisting governments in the United Arab Emirates to spy on dissidents by creating spyware and the like. And they actually uh, made a proposal to have their root certificate included in browsers as a trusted certificate. Now, as this uh, process was moving along, uh, there was this news report about all the things that Dark Matter did. So this proposal failed. But regardless, Dark Matter was able to obtain a delegated certificate that was signed by DigiCert. With this type of certificate, they were able to sign their own certificates and they would appear to be trusted. Well, uh, Google Chrome now announced that they will list uh, these certificates that Dark Matter obtained as explicitly untrusted. So these certificates should no longer work. Firefox also uh, took this step. So uh, these certificates uh, can no longer be used against uh, these browsers. And uh, typically other browsers will just follow suit. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.